please join me in welcoming our final team of the day. Thank you very much. Good afternoon. My name is uh, Pierre Ruiz. I'm uh, the Revenue and Capacity Management Director of Europe Car Group. Firstly, I would like to tell you that I'm honored to represent my company here today in such a prestigious uh, competition. And I have also to tell you that I feel blessed to be in Baltimore for the first time because this is the city where my favorite musician was born in 1940, a uh, genius composer. Uh, his name was uh, Frank Zappa. And one of his famous quotes was, without deviation from the norm, progress is not possible. Those words are a perfect starting point for my speech today. But before elaborating on this, I would like to share with you a message from Caroline Parot, CEO of the Europe Car Group. Daryl, first of all, please accept my apology for not being with you in Baltimore. I am very honored that Opticar, our predictive and optimization system for the revenue and capacity management, has retained the attention of the Edelman Award Committee and the INFORMS community. Europe Car Group is a major player in mobility markets. Its mission is to be an attractive alternative to car ownership by providing a wide range of mobility solutions. Car rentals, van and trucks, chauffeur service, car sharing, or peer-to-peer. -peer. The group operates through multi-brands, meeting every customer's specific needs. Europe Car, the European leader in vehicle rental services, Gold Car, Europe's largest low-cost company, Interrent, value-for-money brand, targeting leisure customers, and finally, Ubico, a European company specializing in fleet and mobility solutions for both the business and the end-to-end -end customer market. The group delivered its mobility solution worldwide through an extensive network of 130 countries and territories. In the direct-to-brand online business, our gross revenue has doubled in four years to reach 500 million euros. This has been achieved in a very competitive market, while improving our fleet utilization for the organic business by 40 bips to reach a total of 76.5% last year and to improve by 200 basic points in a five-year period. All what has been achieved is indisputably linked to the progress that we have been done in the revenue and capacity management teams supported by our advanced analytics in Opticar. The norm. Uh, what usually was the norm of the revenue um, management activity in a car rental business? It was really treated in a similar way than the hotel or the airline industry, but with a small difference that the hotel room is not changing a plane has slots and uh, seats, and they are not changing. Cars are moving. We can buy and we can sell cars and we can put cars everywhere. So let's imagine a hotel in which you could add one floor with 100 additional rooms in the peak period instead of being fully booked, and then make those rooms disappear. Let's assume that a plane could autonomously decide to land in a different city, maybe two days after two days after the original or real time. What about if every nine months, we see, which is the period we keep the car generally, a hotel had to renovate all the rooms, or an airline company had to sell and purchase an entirely new fleet of planes? This is normal business in the car rental. So, in order to fully optimize uh, our business model, we had to acknowledge that uh, fleet was a variable, and fleet variability and flexibility had to be considered as an opportunity, not a constraint. So we had to welcome this key driver in our optimization model. That was the big news. That's why in 2012, the Europe Car Group took the decision to create the revenue and capacity management department in all our subsidiaries. At this time, we embarked on a project which began in Italy to develop a predictive optimization tool, both fleet capacity and revenue. This is how Optica was born. Of course, before this, uh, um, let's say capacity was not considered as a no, man land, uh, no man's land at Europe Car. 
both operations and fleet departments were running part of this activity. So behind this project, there, there is also a huge change management challenge. And uh, this challenge was also multiplied by, by nine because we had uh, nine subsidiaries at that time. This was the number of our uh, subsidiaries. And at this point of time, I, I have also to specify that uh, our objective has never been to centralize the pricing activity. On the contrary, we have always been convinced that it was essential to maintain this activity as close as possible to the various markets. And these are um, some key reasons for this. First of all, because the heterogeneity of the Europe can, uh, European landscape, we know, uh, uh, we know perfectly that the logistic, because of this heterogeneity, is uh, a, an important component and that you cannot handle the same way uh, the uh, activity, for example, in Spain as in Germany. And you know, therefore, the legal constraint as well. Uh, a legal po uh, Spanish policeman is not like uh, a German policeman. I'm sure you know that. So we were convinced that, however, uh, we could respect uh, the specific constraints, but uh, uh, we could meet uh, that challenge uh, to have a common system supported by common processes and ensure that this system was properly used to deliver a very powerful decision support system. Of course, uh, needless to say that such a complex project uh, requires time, uh, skills, experience, and uh, in order to uh, create skills and expertise, it was clear to us that the learning curve required to get the full potential from the tool would have taken quite a long time. And bringing on board all the people involved across the countries were going to be a huge challenge. That's why we created scorecards with standard KPIs, with uh, key performance indicator, giving transparency on how the countries were progressing and sharing this result with the general managers was really important for their success. And that's also why we created an annual user conference where all the experts from across, experts from across the business can physically meet and exchange views and their experience and best practices and decide together about the next features to develop. So it's, let's say, not surprising anyway today that uh, the best in class market remains the country where we started because in such complex um, tools, of course, the first one that starts can remain the best, but some others they are running behind them. I propose you to uh, present you some of my, uh, all my colleagues from uh, Europe Car Italy. The Europe Car is the number one leader in Europe in terms of uh, mobility where effectiveness means succeeding in what we do, uh, making uh, our uh, choices, our day-to-day -day choices, as close as possible to successes for the company. Well, I use Optica every single day. Every morning I on the light, optical light, and I look at figures. We use it, for example, for the fleet allocation, so for making decisions on where to allocate our cars, and for uh, pricing strategies. Nowadays is the main demand forecasting tool used for all the uh, corporate countries and is managing more than two billions of euros of revenues on a yearly basis. With Optigar, we are able uh, to steer the demand and not going after it. This would be our new challenge, but at the same time also, I would say, our uh, opportunity. This tool was also shared with the uh, high-level managers, and so no matter their level or their competencies, it was the only language spoken by everybody. And so this was very important for us. We had the possibility to have a faster access to all information, and most of all to a big quantity of information and in a short time. Uh, 
has changed the culture of the company. So I think that when a tool is able to change the culture, this is the most important price you can get from a tool. Because a tool does not have a human soul, it's just a machine. But when you see people changing after looking at the tool, then you understand that something nice has just happened. last shot was Place uh, Venice in, in Rome. Now I give the words to Rafael Maccioni, CEO of Act Operation Research, the company that supported us uh, during all the, the last years in the development of Optica. Thank you, Pierre. And uh, thank you to Inform and the EDAMA committee for the great job you do promoting operation research at the global level, permitting us to better do our job as company every day applying advanced analytics. I want to start sharing a, a brief story. When I was tuning at the Polytechnic of Milan, I was struck by thunder about the concept to have a model as a representation of a complex system and the possibility to use this model to control, to optimize, to understand the behavior of such system. At that time in Italy, when we finished the university, we have to devolve a few months to the community, choosing between the military service or the social service. I opt for the social service. One of my daily tasks was to deliver meals to about 25 senior people around the city. It was challenging, trust me. I discovered these people is really nice, but could be also really angry if you deliver a cold and sticky pasta. That's <laughs> so the, the group of people doing this job and also my performance was, has a service level around 75%. That means that this means that 25% of the time we were late. So this it has been for me the first time to apply operation research in the real life. So during the night, I start to develop my model to improve this service level. Using operation research, I move the service level from 75 to 95. So based on this passion, we started more than 20 years ago, ACTOR. And uh, ACTOR stands for Analytics, Control Technology, and Operation Research. The name exactly explains what we do for a living. Uh, we have offices in uh, Italy, in Rome, in UK, London, here in the United States, in Charlotte. We are also spin-off for the university in Rome, La Sapienza. We have seven professors in our team, and we are, we are a bridge between the theory and the application, an international bridge of for um, applying these experiences. When uh, we met uh, Pierre and uh, Europe Car called us, we met Pierre and his team. The main focus was around the forecast. They need a better forecast. They need a more detailed forecast. They need to refresh this forecast with a higher frequency. We understood that Europe Car was mature enough for a disruptive solution. So we stimulate the discussion asking why? Why, Pierre, you need the forecast? Why your team, why your decision maker this, this need this forecast? The team came out with a good answer. The answer we call the four R answer. We need the forecast to have the right car at the right place for the right customer sold at the right price. Perfect. This answer also includes a win-win objective where the customer satisfaction and the profitability go on the same way. From this answer, on the left hand, we have some evidences. The forecast was the, uh, the importance of the capacity that Pierre men mentioned. The capacity is a lever to control the business. The forecast is needed, but it's just a piece of the solution. Operation research and advanced analytics are absolutely needed. On the right hand, we, also are, we were also facing some difficulties. First of all, 
we have to go deeper into the complexity of such business in a short period or, or, or uh, time. Why? We were in the sales phase. So we need to understand the details to propose the correct solution. And um, mm, we also need to find the courage to propose something different that was not so easy for a customer in the early stage to be understood. We came with the solution that today is called Optica. And Optica, it has been developed and configured with one our Blooming Decision, that is our Decision Science platform. Now we should have a video. Short-term actions may boycott the long-term objective. Managers must find a solution between conflicting objectives. This can only be done if they have a complete overview of the business. OptiCar, provided by Actor, is a complex decision support system. OptiCar features forecasts and other operations research techniques, providing an integrated approach to revenue and capacity management. OptiCar provides a shared mathematical approach used as a starting point for all daily operations. OptiCar anticipates future demands up to six months in advance, improving capacity management. Capacity managers receive from OptiCar planned fleet actions for maximizing the revenue. OptiCar enables a company to optimize its approach to revenue management and rental pricing. www.act-operationsresearch.com Okay, just a short introduction about the technology. Bloomy Decision is the high performance uh, decision science platform designed for scalability, uh, parallel computing, and big data. In Bloomy, we can combine different types of uh, analytics like predictive analytics, machine learning, optimizers, and uh, simulators. Uh, Bloomy it has been designed for an easy utilization or from the user uh, of the uh, complex analytics behind the technology. The methodology behind Optica is supported by four modules. The first one is the forecast. Then we have a, a discrete event simulator, the fleet optimizer that helps to allocate the current number of cars in the current place and the price optimizer. Opticar works during the night and during the day. During the night, first of all, in import some data from the transactional system of Europcar. Then perform some uh, consistency check. It also generates some warning for the user or for the assistance team. Just to give you some number, we, upla we update, upload uh, 1.6 million of rental agreement. Rental agreement is the main input of the system and is a complex data structure. We forecast uh, about 18,000 time series every day, and we calculate about more than 700,000 statistical distribution. During the night, Optica performs some automatic scenarios, and these scenarios are the starting point for the daily activity of the user. During the, the day, the user can also run their own scenario, for example, evaluating some of the action and the impact of this action. For example, stopping the sales of a certain type of car in a certain airport, for example. They can uh, re-optimize or re-evaluate the fleet planning that means to decide w how many cars in fleet, how many cars dispose, and how many car cars transfer from one point to another. Obviously, the optimize in this case try also to minimize the number of transfers, and this is also an impact in terms of environment because we reduce tr trips uh, by trucks. And then there's the price optimization, so during the day, the user can review the strategy, reevaluate the pricing, and, uh, and this is the, what they do. Every day we have 300 users logged in into the system, and every month we have six, about 600 user scenarios run it. 
let me conclude talking about scalability and portability. Uh, let's say that uh, we start with the first country as Per mentioned, and then we uh, include all the other uh, direct uh, offices in the other European countries. But Europe Car has more than 100 uh, representatives uh, around the globe. And so we are right, are right now we are starting to extend Opticar also to this franchises network. We are installing Switzerland right in these days. So uh, this the in terms of scalability, the solution need to support a pretty wide number of uh, users and company. Uh, then we have also Opticar have to be extended in the future to support uh, the concept of the new mobility evolution that Europe car is facing. This means not just to see at the car, but vehicles in general. In, this means introduce the car sharing concept, car pooling, and the future optical will also be extend to support the marketing optimization. That means to optimize this level, important level. So in terms of portability, generally speaking, the structure behind optical is also applicable to other business, like for example, cruise line, hotelier, uh, and, and, and some other uh, business. I give the word to Enrico that will explain uh, some technical aspect behind the forecast and the simulation aspect. Thank you, Raffaele. I will now introduce the main logics which supports opt optical methodology. Optical's backbone is the ability to forecast the demand. The expected demand in the car rental industry cannot be directly forecasted, different from many other products and commodities predictions. In this business, the element of the forecast is the rental agreement, which is a complex object defined by several attributes, like checkout date, the duration, the probability of returning into a different station, and which station, maybe even a foreign station, the probability to be extended by the customer, or to have an upgrade made at the counter, and many other features. Optical accomplishes the estimation of the future rental agreements and their business impacts by combining the time series forecast and the discrete event simulator. The attributes that define the rental agreements are estimated using statistical distribution calculated on historical figures. Distribution are created taking into account the day of the week and the month. Indeed, even the same customer has a different behavior when booking for a leisure or business purposes on the same day of the week. Depending on that availability and the evolution of the business, some distributions are based on the last year data, while others are only on the most recent transactions. Today, Opticar is one of the few tools that con can consider in the predictive process all these important business aspects at the same time. The time series forecast is computed by our multi-paradigm predictive algorithm platform, sorry, called Before. Unlike other forecasting tools, Before includes both statistical models and machine learning techniques. Before automatically tests all its forecasting algorithms on a past historical sample and selects the best performing among them. Forecasted is the forecast is calculated every day for a 24 weeks period. Furthermore, several user defined variables can be added to the system and they are taken into consideration during the forecasting process. These variables include the bank holidays, special events, and weather condition. Any past and future events that can have an impact on the demand. Optical runs two different types of scenario. On one side, the demand-driven scenario, used mainly for the field planning and other long-term actions. On the, other, on the other side, there is the fleet-driven scenario, which is used for short-term actions like fleet allocation. In more details, the demand-driven scenario is used for the identification of all the possible actions in order to match the current available fleet with the provided results. 
For example, in this case, the management can increase the freight dimensions or trigger stop sales. The majority part of the daily activities of Europe car managers is based on this default simulation. The fleet driven scenario is used for the allocation of the already planned fleetments and to issue new transfers. In this case, if a customer booked a vehicle not available for that moment, there are just two possibilities. A different vehicle is assigned or there is a demand loss. Now I'll give the word to Umberto Delle Piane, who will describe you the optimization engine included in the Optical methodology. Thank you, Enrico. The two optimization tools included in Opticar's methodology work independently and are outside the automatic processing. Users can interact with the system requiring an optimization only when needed. Of course, for both the system and input is expected demand produced at the end of the automatic processing, just described by Enrico. The first optimizer regards fleet optimization. This is how the models look like. In interest of time, I will now summarize you the main concepts behind it. The model has been designed taking in consideration the maximization of the process as objective function without reducing the current service level. This can be accomplished through optimizing the number of vehicles in fleeted, defleeted, and transferred. The derived problems involve three separated but interconnected optimization layers. In fleet optimization, transfer optimization, and the fleet optimization. One of the most important advantages provided by this model is that user may decide to optimize just one of the three optimization layers or combine them as a single optimization problem. In the table below are shown some features that define the size of a problem instance. The resulting problems are large scale problem. Nonetheless, they are solved within two hours. The problem is modeled as a linear programming optimization problem, and it considers simultaneously the fleet definition and its utilization. In order to include in the model all the constraints that influence Europe car business, we work to discover all the elements that could increase the goodness of the linear approximation made. For this reason, many constraints directly derived from the business have been included in the model. For example, the high level of theft in some areas may alter the possibility of moving certain vehicles in it. Moreover, all the changing in the fleet composition may respect same timing windows related to the vendor's companies. Finally, other clauses included in vendor contracts have been taken into account. For example, Fiat and Mercedes uses different policies in terms of cars. Users can work directly with the web user interface to edit the constraint in a fast and user-friendly way. The model is flexible enough to include future business evolution, like the green energy vehicle market. The algorithm used for solve the derived problem was designed by actors, engineers, and optimization scientists. After several numerical experiences, it turns out that the best choice in terms of efficiency was represented by a meta heuristic procedure based on genetic algorithms. The last uh, optical's component is the DPO, which stays for dynamic price optimization. In this optimization tool, prices are the lever for the management to match the forecast and demand, maximizing the profit. Prices are dynamically updated, taking in consideration the expected demand, the competitor's actions, and many other factors. The DPO model is based on a black box optimization problem, where the black box component returns an estimation of the revenue achievable over the booking period. The algorithm for solving this problem is a probabilistic global optimization meta heuristic. Conceptually, the DPO system is composed by two layers. The first provides an optimal pricing strategy, while the second, currently with this strategy, optimizes the prices in near real time. Automatically, whenever new information is available, the system optimizes the prices. Prices are updated for all the type of vehicles sold in specific zones. Moreover, prices are calculated for all the length of rent and the payment methodologies. At every run, about 15 million prices are updated. I give now the word back to Pierre for some conclusion. Uh, 
Well, I'll figure out where, during the, the speech of my colleagues, how our business seems to be uh, very simple for a customer point of view and very complex and technical on the other side. So, uh, very, um, let's say, as a user, I'm very happy having found, uh, let's say, operations research quality on the other side to be able to raise some demand and obtain some answers. So, uh, really, I think that uh, the difference that I've been able to, uh, to, to produce is really on uh, Optica's methodology that has been uh, able to provide a deep integration of uh, Europe Cars Daily's working activity. That's for sure. Uh, the first integration regards the process. As uh, mentioned, uh, the output provided by Opticar every day represents the starting point for all the revenue and capacity managers. You remember Bianca Ita from Italy, she said every day I open Opticar, I look at Opticar, my scenario of the day, and I begin to take decisions. This is a, a very important uh, change. And of course, the second int integration is cultural because Opticar outputs became a shared element between managers inside the country from fleet operation, revenue management, and uh, from different countries. Before Opticar, there were a high heterogeneity among managers and uh, about the way to uh, think according to me, tomorrow this will be, uh, according to me, the future will be. Now there is a basic po starting point to define what the future can be. The third integration provided by Optica is in technology, of course. This integration has been made during the years by Opticars and actor engineers. And nowadays, there are several activities aimed to always improve the overall system performances, adapting both hardware and software. And finally, the last integration that Optica has triggered is uh, in uh, the usage of analytics and operations research techniques. Opticars methodology features forecasts discrete event simulations and optimizations techniques, providing an integrated approach to revenue and capacity management. Caroline Parot, my CEO, will uh, now tell you what future is storing for uh, Opticar and Europecar in general. Customer satisfaction is at the heart of the group's mission and all of its employees, and this commitment fuels the continuous development of new services. From a customer perspective, the future is asking us to merge all mobility usages. From a revenue and capacity management standpoint, this will mean to definitively break the boundaries between the different products and brands of the group. Among the group digital transformation, there is an increasing complexity that we have to address by analytical techniques. Surely, optimization of our fleet and setting the correct price will not become an option. Opticar is one of our strongest assets. It has optimized our traditional car rental model and offers technical solutions that will surely inspire our future's works in the new mobility era. We are proud of our successes obtained so far and are looking now for the future of the mobility business with enthusiasm and confidence. Thank you. I would like now to share with you some figures related to Opticar's impact in the European corporate countries. I have chosen one KPI by country. So in Italy, uh, which I remember now has been using the tool uh, in its pilot version, uh, we increased between 2012 and 2016 by 4.8 percentage point the fleet utilization rate. In France, the utilization has increased by two percentage points between 2014 and 2017. In Portugal, since Opticar has been used, the utilization rate has increased by 1.2 percent between 2013 and 2017. In UK, 1.9 million dollars on free upgrades has been saved in 2017s. Uh, 2017 versus previous year by using expecting demand information from Optica. In Germany, we recently used Optica during Christmas time in Berlin, allowing to take decisions to better yield and improve the revenue per day by 15% compared to last year's. And this is, uh, uh, of course, in the same period of time. And in Spain, the revenue per day has increased by 3.3 percentage points between 2015 and 2017, even in a very competitive low-cost market in Spain. 
This is also the case, uh, this was also the case in, in Belgium where the cost per rental have been decreased thanks to less transfers made possible for a better on rent forecast accuracy and the fleet optimizer. So let's celebrate all those good news and let me present you some of the key users of the different Europe car countries. Prior to Optica, Europca had no standardized tool when it came to revenue and capacity management. We are the Europca uh, Germany RCM team and we are using Optica for forecast, for pricing and for capacity management. With Optica in Portugal, we have moved from a manual work to automatic and trust tool that supports our business and pricing decisions. The recently released price trend view and the rule-based dynamic price optimization system brings Europa to the next level. It's uh, now there's faster decision-making processes uh, within multiple teams. It has replaced and enhanced our existing reporting tools, which frees up time and to invest in strategic decision-making uh, in order to maximize our revenue and our profit across the network. It really has become our way of life, uh, and we are very happy with what Optica brought to us. Forecast and business planning, we are using Optica for our forecast and to look at the business on the books. With Optica, Europa RCM department has moved from a manual process to a fully trusted and integrated solution in order to support pricing and business decisions. In capacity management, Optica is used in order to get an overview of our business quality and their allocations within the same. Not only do we have analysts now directly access to market information, but it also helps them uh, in their decision. Since we are using Optica, we have a more granular look at the seasonalities. Um, we uh, are better in um, steering of the segments and uh, we all look at the same data. And we are looking for all the developments what comes in the future. Yeah! Okay, uh, finally I wanted to share with you some tangible uh, economic insight in, uh, into what Optica has contributed to our business to date. So since the beginning of the project, thanks to a more efficient planning of our uh, fleet needs, uh, our parental transfer cost has been reduced by 80 euro cents, which means almost one dollar. This means about 14 million US dollars saving on a yearly basis. As our CEO Caroline said, uh, Optica has contributed to increase our utilization rate by two percentage points, which um, translates to an uh, 18 million dollars cost efficiency on a yearly basis. And finally, the last years, last five years, our rental revenue has increased by almost 584 million dollars uh, in a very competitive market in which the growth of the low-cost competitors has exploded which has driven down prices and uh, lower revenue per day. And, and despite this, however, we have been able to nearly uh, flatten our uh, rental car revenue per unit between 2012 and 2017. And that's all, thanks for your attention. Hey, what's new in Baltimore? How about that chord to Ray played? Hey, 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 hey.